This is the second year that we are going to be hosting Songs for Ken, which is a, a fundraiser for the ALS Society of Alberta. And it's a chance for me uh, to raise funds for a good cause and to remember an old buddy. This year, uh, we have uh, one person returning uh, from last year's event, which is Dave McCann out of Lethbridge. And then we have a whole slew of new people that, that uh, jumped on board. We've got, uh, from Edmonton, we've got Maria Dunn. From Calgary, we have Amy Bishop. Uh, from Calgary, we have John Rutherford. Um, I'll be playing. And then we also, like last year, we have a visual art, uh, a visual art component. Last year, we had uh, two ladies from High River on stage painting. This year, we've got Randall Weeb from Rosebud. And what he's going to do is, uh, it's pretty unique. He, somebody from the audience uh, is going to win. Uh, people will buy a ticket and their portrait will be painted on stage uh, during the event in 15 minutes. I immigrated to Canada when I was when I was eight years old and the first kid I met lived 10 houses up up the road and uh, that was Ken and we used to walk to school together and we just kind of became instant buddies and um, countless hours of street hockey and slurpy drinking and um, getting into trouble and, and uh, growing up and, and um, uh, is, is what we did and, and when Ken passed away in 2012 from ALS um, it was a, there was a real sort of hole you know uh, and um, I wanted to sort of uh, make sure that I don't forget a good a good buddy I know that I wasn't all that informed about ALS before Ken was diagnosed. I knew that it was, um, I knew there was no cure, and I knew that people were robbed of the use of their bodies, um, but that's really all I knew. I, I, I didn't know about sort of um, how quickly the, the disease progressed and things like that. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of information out there. The last year's Ice Bucket Challenge sh sure sort of took the cause and informed a lot of people. Um, and I know that, you know, and raised a lot of money. So I think it's more on people's radar now than it used to be.